from boinabands.com and welcome to day one of the Boina Band 7 day song tutorial on dubstep where I'll be making a dubstep song from scratch over 7 days. If you follow along building up your own dubstep song as I make mine, on day 7 post your finished dubstep song as a video response to my completed song to show everyone what you've learned and how totally sweet your track is. I'll go through all the responses and try to help with any constructive criticism I can offer. By no means am I saying I'm an expert, but it's always good to have an opinion from someone else to help you improve your music. By the end of day one, we'll have a totally sweet dubstep drum beat that we can nod our heads to. Okay, let's begin. First things first, make sure you've got a mastering suite, M-Class mastering suite, and a Line 16 to 2 mixer in your rack. This will make mixing and mastering a lot quicker if you do this now. Okay, and also make sure your tempo is 140. The default is 120, so move it to 140 because that's the tempo of most dubstep, and it'll be easier for dubstep DJs to use in their mixes and sets. Okay. Now let's get to work on this beat. Right click the interface and create a combinator. Name it Beat so it's easier to see what it is in the mixer up here. And inside the combinator, right click, create, redrum drum computer. Now I'm just going to load up a dubstep kit I've made out of some samples from the Prime Loops dubstep producer sample pack which is, shockingly enough, frickin' ace for dubstep. But if you're struggling to find some samples, head over to my website, boyinaband.com, click on the free samples category, and I've linked to a dubstep sample pack that's free that you can use there if you can't afford the one on primeloops.com. Okay, now let's just go through these samples I've got. I've got a kick, another kick, snare, snare, clap, hat, open hat, and ride. Okay, now these two kicks are actually the same sample, but this one I've taken the tone down, the pitch down, and the length down, so it's a shorter, sharper, beefier, kind of bassier sample, whereas this one has the tone up, the pitch hasn't changed, and it's got more length to it. So this is the kind of click of the bass drum, and by alternating between these we can get some cool kind of bouncy effects. With the snare, I've got this really kind of punchy snare with a lot of body to it in channel 3. This snappy snare that's kind of got a bit of high end in channel 4 and in channel 5 I've got this clap with a lot of high to mid that will really fill out the sound and all three of those will really make a, a big snare. And it's really important to layer snares in most electronic music. So that's, that's something to get into a good habit of doing. Okay, so let's make this beat. We'll start off by taking the steps up to 32 because we want to have a, well, I want to have a two bar loop. Okay, and we'll, to be able to put beats on different parts of this two bar loop to move between 1 to 16 and 17 to 32 of the steps, just drag this edit step slider. Now, we'll put one on the 1, 16, 17, and 21 steps for my beat with the bassy kick and let's get playing that yeah that's the start of our beat and to really emphasize the start of those bars I want to put the clicky snare on the 1 and the 17 cool now the snares I'm going to put on the 9 and the 25 just in the middle there and that's the start of our beat, the kick and bass. But to, to really add a bit of swing to it, uh, we want to make it bounce, so we need some more shuffle. Conveniently enough, there's this shuffle button on the redrum interface, so just click that, and then you'll be able to hear. That's got that kind of bounce to it, and that really makes it cool. Yeah, head noddingly bouncy. Okay, now we have this kick-snare combination. It's time to add some high end. But first, let's copy this to the track. I usually like to make the low and high end separate on separate lanes, so I can easily do simple drops later on by taking out the high end. You just have more control over the whole track. So, make sure the beat track is selected, and right click on Redrum, and click Copy Pattern to Track. It's near the bottom there. Now, if I switch to pattern number two, to stop this pay playing in the inbuilt sequencer in Redrum, and click the play button. There's our beat. Okay, and now we can get to work making the uh, the 
high end with our ride open hat and hat closed hat now let's start with the ride 16 steps is fine for this so just hit a ride on the one and the nine and that just drives it along nicely and let's get this open hi hat on the off beat so that's the five and the thirteen in this case and that, that's kind of driving it along making it really head noddy I don't know if that's an actual word but it is now and next up I want to add some hi-hats but I want to to make it really bouncy um, to uh, to do this there's several ways obviously but one way is to get this tripped up off beat sound is to use triplets this is when you place notes in third intervals over a 4-4 four, four beat instead of one two three four like it'd be like one two three four one two three four it changes to here we go one two three 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 and that's that that kind of makes it roll it's really cool so let's do some of that so let's make a new note lane name this one kick and snare and right click on the track and click new note lane and this is high end now Let's move what we've got here onto the track. Right click, copy pattern to track. And make sure you click enable pattern section here. So that turns it off because it's defaults to on. And you only get the patterns that are being played here in the read in the uh, reason sequencer rather than the read drum sequencer. Okay. Now let's go into this sequence that we've just made. Let's find where the notes are. There they are. And the hi hat. That I want to play with is just there, and make sure, drop, click this drop-down arrow and click 116 T. Now that's triplets, the 16th triplets, which is what we want to play with. And then click the uh, the pencil tool, and we can start making this beat. And if I just place in some here. Yeah, I've got these hi-hats in there, and I just want to copy them across all the way. So, let's take that beat, control click to copy and drag. And there's our beat. It gives that rolling feel with those triplet hi-hats there. And let's do a few last tu final touches to make the beat really kind of punch. So, right click on the read drum instance, go create M class equalizer. Let's take up this low end a little bit by about five decibels around the, the 50 hertz kind of range. Just the really low end, take that up and just take the cue to full and you can really feel that bass now. And because remember this is dubstep, if you don't have a really bassy low end, all the other dubstep producers will laugh at you. And you don't want that. Now hit param 1 or 2 and let's turn the gain up again by about that much, about 5 decibels and then just to, to emphasize the snare a bit, I'm going to hit the 1.5 kilohertz range, take the bandwidth down, that's the area of effect, to about a quarter of the knob, there's about 2 on the, the, of the value of it and there's our kind of a punchier sound. And one last thing we can do, right click on the mixer click create and create an RV7000 advanced reverb. Now just turn this up a little bit on the auxiliary one, just using the default se default settings. It just adds a bit of kind of space, a bit of room to your beat, but you don't want too much, otherwise it doesn't have any punch, just a little bit and it'll sit in the mix a bit better later on. Okay, so there's our dubstep beats that we'll be building a song onto. They grow up so fast. In day two, we'll be adding some sweet blips, samples, and effects to give a bit more character and power to the beat. Until then, have a play and make your beat unique. Then just nod your head to your bouncy new dubstep beat. Oh yeah. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!